How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to finish up stretching out this layout of carpet here that we've got a master bedroom hallway and two bedrooms off each side of the hallway. Last week's video, we got our master bedroom stretched in two thirds of the way, or uh, I guess three fourths of the way. We have one wall to finish stretching up. We had to stop for time's sake right before we address the hallway. So in this video, we're going to be addressing the hallway, finishing up this master bedroom, and taking care of those other two bedrooms off the side of the hallway. And uh, let's get it going. The last time we stretched up these walls right here with our kneeless kicker, we actually pushed up a few wrinkles right here, which I knew it would happen, but that's okay because we're fixing to address this right now as we do our hallway. So you can see we've got some puckers here, fixing to take care of that as we stretch our hallway that way. What I need to do right now though, I'm gonna go ahead and cut just the doorway down here right to the casing and when I make this cut I'm going to actually come back this way directly from that corner point back that way definitely don't want to come straight or you're going to stretch off okay so right there right back around that way then you can see how much extra I've got right there after that if you want to trim a little bit down which you can come way back here instead of right here at your corner point. That'll still give you about three quarters of an inch or so to play with whenever the time comes, okay? So because this doorway right here is only about a foot from the end of the hallway where I'm gonna be stretching, I'm gonna go ahead and be safe to take and cut this side of the doorway down. Again, I'm gonna do it just like I did these from the corner directly over like that, okay? That way I've got plenty of carpet here to work with, okay? Whenever I stretch, I'm not gonna have to worry about it pulling off because again, I'm right here at the end where I'm gonna be stretching from. This part of the carpet is not gonna to move too much, okay? So the point of doing this cut right here is so I can lay it over here and get center of where my door is gonna close, which is gonna be right here. You always wanna put your seam center of where the door closes. That way if the door is hung, you cannot see the hallway carpet out here if you're in the hallway, you cannot see the room carpet from outside in the hallway, okay? So you always want to put your seam directly under where the door closes, okay? If the door closes, you want it to be directly on top of your seam, especially in this case where we've got two different carpets, a, a carpet in the hallway and a different carpet in the bedroom. We've got to be real specific on getting this right in the center of where the door closes, okay? Right there. All right, now we got it folded back and cut. So I am gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit more so I can get a little bit more precise. And I'm gonna just put me a little notch. See where my blade is right there? Right in the center of where the door closes. I'm gonna put me a little notch right there. And that point right there is where I'm gonna row cut straight across the doorway. And that is the importance of having this room so straight. If you'll remember, I stressed it and stressed it and stressed it when uh, I think it was two videos ago. We have to get this perfectly straight. If it's not, when I make my seam here in just a few minutes, that room right there is going to be off. Even whenever I make my row cut, whenever I make my row cut, I'm dead center here. I'm dead center right here in the door jam where the door is going to close. And if it's crooked, I could come all the way over here in the same row and end up end up over here somewhere, okay? Even though I'm in the same row, I could be crooked with my carpet and end up over here or over here if I'm not straight. I want to end up right in the center where I was originally started from, okay? Okay, I've got my thing marked right there, my piece of carpet marked. I'm actually going to shift this over so I can get this flat and make my cut now. We'll be straightening all this right back out as soon as I make my cut. I just want to shift all of this over and get this flat so I can make my cut real nice and flat like. And if you guys watch my seam videos, um, you should know that uh, just here recently I did a video on making a perfect seam. I actually talked about leaving backing on one side and taking backing off the other side. That way you recreate the exact same gauge that came from the factory. I'm having a different carpet here that's in the bedroom, 
So I want to completely scratch that little rule right there because I am seaming two different carpets together. So I want to take the backing off this piece and the backing off that piece and get these fibers as close as I can just so that it looks really nice, okay? So I'm not going to, there's no gauge to recreate since there's two different carpets. So I'm going to just get them as tight as I can and that will give me the best seam possible. Nice, nice and clean cut right there. I want to go ahead and seal that up before I fold it back over in there. That way it's all nice prepared. And as I'm working with it, I don't have to worry about bumping it and knocking fibers off and everything like that if it's already sealed. So as soon as I make my cut, that's when I want to seal it. And that's going to preserve and protect that edge until I get ready to make my seam, okay? You guys all know that I use the thermoplastic sealing method is what I use. I just prefer that for the sake of uh, my carpet breaking over backwards and stuff like that. It just really bonds your seam together really well. Uh, you this doorway right here is only a couple feet from the end of my hallway down there. I've got about four or five feet here uh, from, where, from my stretching point to this doorway, okay? So if I come over and I cut to this corner right here, 100% this is going to pull forward like that and I'm going to have a gap right here, okay? So I'm not able to do that right here on this one like I did here because this is going to move further as I stretch down here, okay? So I just want to get as close as I can without causing a problem, okay? I'm actually going to come about an inch back uh, right there. I'm going to cut that off. And so again, I want my seam to be center of where the door closes here so that's going to be my measure point i'm going to measure from and you got to be real precise on this you want to make sure your carpet's nice and flat right here when you make your measurement or else you're going to be you're going to have three eighths of an inch or so right here that's going to throw you off okay so when you're doing your measuring make sure your carpet is nice and flat so from right center of the doorway i am I'm going to go three and a half inches. Okay, so I got this pushed down tight on the edge here, three and a half inches, and I'm going to kind of eyeball it right up here. Actually, I can follow these lines in the back of this carpet right here since I'm just going a little distance. It's going to be nice and easy to follow that really short line and just give me a little mark right there, and that is where I want to roll up my carpet. We got both of our doorways cut for ready for seams. Now I'm going to straighten this hallway back out and we're ready to stretch, okay? Again, just like I did a while ago, I want to pull my hallway tight and I'm going back and forth with it like this and making sure there's no big bubbles on either side down there where it joins the master bedroom. When I get it good, that's when I know my hallway is going to be nice and straight. I'm set up and ready to make my stretch. Points, I want to point something out here also. Now, if you will notice that I've got my stretcher head centered in my hallway here, I want to get my very first stretch dead center down the hallway. That way I don't twist it. You guys know that I will usually make my first stretch over to one side and then switch it around and angle to the other side. On this hallway, because I got it row cut and I want to keep everything nice and straight, I'm going to get my first stretch nice and straight, lock it off to my tack strip here, and then get my side stretches, okay? I do that so my hallway don't twist side to side as I make my stretches. I want to keep it nice and straight, okay? So you guys probably seen my tack strip in doorway video. So that's what I'm doing right here. We have a raw edge where tack strip is directly in the doorway because it joins the wood. I'm cutting me a piece of felt to place over the tack strip and that's going to shorten the pins on the tack strip. So when people walk across it barefooted, they are not feeling tacks and getting poked. Calling you back and saying, hey, I can feel the tack strips here. What's going on? I actually had a gentleman call me from Texas just the other day asking me the same thing, what he could do about them. So if you guys will take a minute and do this, you see how long that took? 
It only takes a second to do that. And place that right over the pins and it will shorten the pins up so that you're not getting poked as you walk over it, okay? And as I explained in the last video I did where I was doing the master bedroom, definitely got to get this hallway nice and tight, okay? This is the center point for traffic. This hallway is going to get more traffic than any one of these bedrooms in, that it leads to, okay? So definitely got to get a good stretch. I had a carpet repair guy and carpet cleaner actually commented on that video and said most of his repairs and wrinkles are in hallways. Just to back up what I said there, a guy that does repairs all the time said, yes, hallways are the number one issue for wrinkling, okay? Hallways and doorways. So we got to really take extra precaution around those and make sure that we are getting those stretched tight okay it's not just me saying that it definitely is the case okay all right i want to get this really good okay we got us a nice tight stretch there you could probably see that move moved a whole bunch right there okay i'm just double checking my felt making sure it didn't move. I'm going to go ahead and mash my carpet down on that, secure it off, and lift my stretchers up, okay? I will hold this with both of my hands, use my foot back here to raise the lever. Okay, so again, I'm going to stretch this with my needless. I don't have to get crazy either way because I am going to stretch it both ways. So I'll get about 50% of the stretch this way, 50% of the stretch that way. It's going to keep it nice and even. It should not cause a pucker, a pucker here or a pucker here by the time I get done. Should be nice and evenly stretched the width way. So we should be good to, good to go with it, okay? Okay, we got our doorway seam made. This side of the hallway is tied off. Now we're going to stretch that way. Okay. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. Mm -hmm. I just barely do got enough frame right here to do what I need to do for that. much got a locking mechanism right there these crane tools are absolutely top-notch no doubt about it okay All right, that's all I want to do right here is just one stretch. Uh, the purpose for that being is so that I can now tie this off. Whenever I stretch this way, I want everything, that wall and that wall, completely done up, okay? Um, before I go any further, I need to take and tie this off. Let's go ahead and do that really fast. Again, I'll just get all this completely wrapped up here so there's no questions, no if, ands, or buts about it. 
I do want my kneeless on this because if you didn't have a kneeless, you would definitely need to kick this right here. So uh, before, before I tie this off, I do want to get a little bit of a stretch up to that corner because that is going to be stretched that direction before I make my long stretches. So I want to get that tied off right there. Now I can finish tying this off. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to continue to use my kneeless in this little section. Since it is such a small section, I'm not even going to use my stretchers in this tiny little spot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stretched up there. And this is not out of the ordinary. I would definitely do this if I was on the job right here. I'm not messed up with using this nailless in places like this. This is, this is where it shines right here. got that done. We'll come back over here and get the rest of this stretched up. Okay. Now that's good enough to explain this. So now I have all this done right here. Uh, I would tie everything that I got stretched. Go ahead and tie all of this up, tie all of it off, stretch my room long ways. Once this is tied off, finish this way, okay? Okay, so we're fixing to finish up our master bedroom. I wanted to point out this right here, okay? This is really, really important that a lot of people, they don't grasp the concept of the kneeless, the Triforce, any kind of tool like that, they say it can't do it because it only stretches from point A to point B, okay? This right here is proof, all right? I want to show this to you guys. A while ago when I was stretching my hallway way up there, okay? I was like nine feet up there. This room is nine feet back, okay? Look at here. I pushed up a wrinkle because I stretched that way. I pushed up a wrinkle here and also over here on both sides of this doorway, okay? It's all humped up now. Let me get something and show you just how humped up that is. Okay, look at this. So that's sitting right there on top of that, okay? You can see I can get my finger like almost underneath of it with it just sitting on top of it. See that? Same thing. Same thing over here, okay? It's a nice plump hump right there, okay? And that was caused from all of this carpet being pulled. Now I remind you, it was tied off from right here and right here. I'm going to get a measurement on this because this is going to blow you guys' mind. This is going to be uh, show a lot of you critics that this method of stretching is absolutely possible with the needless and with the Triforce, okay? So the Triforce will come out. It'll be a headpiece and a tailpiece and a tailpiece. It'll actually be in the shape of a Y, okay? You say, no, it does not stretch in between those feet near enough to make it matter, okay? Well, I want to show you something, okay? This is 28 inches wide is what this doorway is. What you see right there, it's a little less than 28 inches, actually. So you can see right there, it's 28 inches wide. And check this out, okay? Go right up there. I want to get a view this way. This is going to blow you guys. I want you to look at the height of this carpet, okay? I have not touched this. I have not done any extra cutting or anything. It's simply from stretching. Look right here. Center that doorway, okay? It was up here. This is about an inch up on the wall. You can see over on the other side of the doorway how much is up on the wall. This carpet actually pulled down just flush with that baseboard right there, okay? And again, I was pulling from nine feet away, even though it's tied off 
28 inches here and here. So this carpet moved nine inches, nine feet behind where it was tied off 27 inches and 27 and a half inches. So this wide, it pulled an inch, nine feet away through this spot right here, okay? If that don't make a believer out of you, I don't know what will, okay? So those methods of stretching are definitely effective, okay? All right. Now with that done, let's go ahead and finish up this master bedroom here. All right, you can come up here if you want to. Okay, perfect. All right, he's getting a different angle on the camera right there. Now maybe, since he did, you can. Sh this will show up a lot better right there. Straight in the center of that doorway, you can see how much that carpet pulled, okay? That's pretty phenomenal. That actually kind of blows my mind that it worked so well nine feet away from pulling through a little shallow doorway that's not even three foot wide, okay? That's pretty impressive. Okay, with all that done, explaining mind-blowing stuff right there, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this master bedroom, and we are going to be complete, okay? That is going to wrap up this episode of how to stretch in a layout of multiple rooms. Those wrinkles that it pulled up back there against the baseboard are disappearing right now as I stretch. Um, as a matter of fact, I will show you as I stretch, you'll be able to watch that wrinkle disappear, okay? Okay, I want you to watch that wrinkle right back there on the other side of the doorway, right here. As I stretch, you're going to see that thing disappear, okay? And again, it's getting more than flat, okay? It's getting a huge, huge stretch on it. Let me get one more here, and you'll see it'll be completely gone. And super, super tight, I guarantee it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how tight, because you won't be able to pull this carpet off the floor hardly any. Look at that. See that? There you go, that bubble is gone. And you can turn around and see how much stretch we got up here. That was down flush, okay? There's an inch, if not more than an inch, up on the wall right there where it was down flush. So that is, again, definitely more than industry standards, okay? Industry standards is 1%, so that technically would only have to be stretched 0.9 of an inch. Because this room is 9 foot, okay? All right. You don't have to see me trim and tuck that or anything like that. I do want you to check this out. This is extremely tight, what I was talking about. Let me draw a little circle here. Well, that's too big. Draw a little circle here. Watch this. See that? It's just like it's glued down all over, and you can barely, barely pull up, okay? Watch this. See that? This is as tight as a drum, okay? Like I said the other day, if there was no floor under it, you could probably bounce a quarter on this. You could use it like a trampoline. This is a super tight carpet. Never going to have problems out of this, okay? This concludes how to stretch in a layout with multiple rooms all connected, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, FBSB's out.